1980, my dad's boss told him this company is shutting down. So he bought the company and told everybody, you're fired, but I'm, I'm hiring you. Today, we have 22,000 square feet of area to machine in, and we have uh, 10 employees. My name is John Evans. I work here at Toolco. We've been here since 1980 in Owensboro, Kentucky. We serve all types of industries, everything from big corporations to a farmer who wants to come in and have his hoe remade. We needed the GR510 for a certain job. Uh, we had to run 5,000 of these pieces. They each weighed 1,500 pounds, and we had to get 10 a day done. We could barely do that in the VF4. In the GR510, we doubled that number. Today we're only running one of these. When we were doing these mass quantities, we were doing these three at a time. We were easily producing 15 to 18 a day. With this part, we were machining the face down 60 thousandths and drilling an inch quarter hole all the way through. The compressed air was a new feature for us, but we've really enjoyed it. A lot of these higher end tools, they don't like coolant, they're, they're better with the compressed air blasting on it and getting the chip out of the way. We still use coolant for drilling and tapping, have to, can't use the compressed air for that. For most machining applications, we use the compressed air now. First job ran for a complete year. The six months after that, we've run probably 30 other jobs to it. The piece we have in the ST30 now, it's an aluminum piece. It is an adapter. It looks like it has threads, but it does not. Those are actually grooves. Each one is a complete groove in that part. It is made for helping to catch the material going through that piece. That company uses about 1,500 of those a year. That piece has extremely tight tolerances, plus or minus a half thousandths on certain areas, and the Haas has no problem maintaining those tolerances. In the past five years, our workload has doubled, and due to the ST30 and the GR510, we've been able to maintain the amount of people we have and double our workload. I'm sure we're gonna to continue to grow, and as we do, we will continue to buy our equipment from Haas.